What's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to do the effect that I showed you guys in the beginning of this video. So what you want to go ahead and do is have your footage. Now you want to make sure that you have your footage, that it's set on a tripod and that it doesn't move. And then from there, what you want to go ahead and do is have the object or whatever on a plane or minimal background. In this case, this is the sky. If it's around the trees or on the grass, it's going to be a little bit harder. What you want to go ahead and do is on the share button here, you're going to have on the destination here, you're going to have share project, you're going to have the save current frame. Now, if you don't have this, especially on the newer versions of Final Cut Pro 10, you want to go ahead and manually add that. So to add that, just click on this and click on add destination and just select this and then you can add it wherever you want from there. So what you want to go ahead and do is just start wherever you want the effect to take place. So in this case, I'm going to do it right here where it's, where it's kind of in the sky. And then the frame right now is at 17. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, I'm going to go on to save current frame and then I'm going to save it as 17. I'm going to click next. I'm going to click save. I already have one named as that. I'm going to just click replace. But it's going to go ahead and save that frame right here. And it's going to save it as a PNG or a picture. Now, depending on how you save the destination in this case, you want to make sure that the export is on PNG image. I think it's going to save it as a uh, TIFF file. So make sure it's on PNG image. From there, what you want to go ahead and do is go on to another frame. Maybe right here would be good. Maybe maybe 23 or 24 would be good and keep it in between three and five frames that would work really fine so do it again go to save current frame and we're gonna go ahead and do 23 so just keep doing that for the rest of the frames until you kind of reach where you want it to end so I'm gonna go maybe right here 107 so I'm gonna go on to here save current frame and then I'm gonna do one dash and then 07 so I know where to place this uh, frame so you want to go ahead and do that until you have it kind of around to the end all right guys so once you have all of the frames saved you want to go ahead and import that so right click and click on import media and then I have them saved onto my desktop so I have these right here I believe okay we'll start with 23 so we'll go on to frame 23 so I'm gonna go on to the first frame which is 23 right here. So all you gotta do is press Q on the keyboard and that will add it to the cursor or the timeline wherever your cursor was. And then on the next frame, it's gonna be 107, which is right here. Click on this, press Q, and do the same for 26. So 126. Of course, you can add or save more frames if you want. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to do this right here. All right, guys. So once you have added all of them, what you want to go ahead and do, go on to the effects here and look up the uh, go on to the first go on to inspector. And then from here, you want to go ahead and go on to the blend mode and change it to darken. And you're going to have this. Now, you're going to have this really weird effect. Now, to fix that, all you're going to do is just look up mask and then go on to draw mask under the effects panel, of course. Drag that onto the video and it says click to add a control point. What you want to go ahead and do is move it to the very beginning of the clip and just select the football or whatever the object is and it will get rid of it as you can see there. Now you want to do the same thing for this one except we got to change the blend mode. So go on here, go to darken, add another draw mask and do the same thing. So in this case right here works fine I think there and then one more right over here. And I'm not sure why I didn't import the other ones, but that's okay. You guys can add more and you guys get the gist of it. So go ahead and drag that on top and then select the last football or the object. And you should now have this effect. Let me go ahead and render this out to so go on to modify and render all. So as you can see, this you know effect is really easy to do and very easy to accomplish as long as the video isn't moving and it's stationary. So I'm going to go ahead and push play so you guys can see how it looks like. So you just have that really nice effect. And yeah, so if you found this video helpful in any way, please leave a rating below. That would be much appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.